back here with David Tennant. Um, is Doctor Who, or can Doctor Who become the new Hamlet for actors? Is this a silly question or what? No, that's an interesting question. I've never asked that before. It's an accolade, isn't it? I mean, it's a good thing to do, and it's not got any stigma anymore, I don't think. I, I don't think so, no. I hope that it's seen as something quite cool. And it's certainly, for me, it's a very exciting thing to do. I suppose there are a few opportunities. I mean, there are, I don't know, maybe a couple of Hamlets every year, whereas there's only been... Ten doctors, so uh, <laughs> I'm in a slightly more exclusive club there, maybe. What about uh, the new assistant? Tell me about her. She looks great. Freema Adjaman plays Martha Jones, and very good she is too, yeah. I mean, I think it's tough because everyone loved Rose, and everyone rightly loves Billy, and it's hard to follow on from someone like that, and she would have every right to feel daunted or nervous, but she didn't. She hit the ground running, and she just nails it from episode one. You'll see on Saturday night. She's fantastic. We'd like to see the Doctor go back down the central line, wouldn't we, looking for the Yeti with Brigadier Lethbridge-Stewart? <laughs> ah. Ah, wouldn't we all? <laughs> yeah, that's a very nice that's idea. That's before your time, isn't it? No, but I've seen it. I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah. Um, yeah. What about the Daleks? Uh, what's Doctor Who's view on the Daleks? <laughs> they're hard to beat, aren't they? Well, they're hard to beat in every way. Um, <laughs> they're hard for the Doctor to beat, but they're so kind of iconic, aren't they? They're yeah. just hardwired into everyone's consciousness. Uh, are they still going to be flying next time we see them? Oh, yeah. Really? See, I'm not sure about that. That's my only criticism. I'm really? not sure about a flying Dalek. That's how they get up and down stairs. That's how they've conquered the universe up till now. No, you They've just didn't never see got it up and before. before. They now. used to. They just cut away to something else. They just had lifts. Really. Yeah. <laughs> you did used to wonder how it was possible that they came out of the sea with all those pebbles and everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, when they suddenly come out of the well, sea. Well, they're just gently hovering. That's what it is. <laughs> By the way, not a lot of filming in quarries. Because there used to be a hell of a lot of quarry filming in, in a very dull day. They're dead. There is a little bit this year. Uh, I think we had three visits to three different quarries this year. Uh, two quarries which represent one planet, the planet Malcasario. Stay tuned. And uh, we have the occasional visit to a quarry. Because you want a quarry lonely, scary and grey, don't you? Yeah. But also, you know, you're filming on an alien planet. Where else do you go? <laughs> and you want to see in the distance, don't you, David? You want to see, like, a bad, scary alien in the distance and the, and the music goes dam, dam, wah, 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 wah. oh yeah that's very good <laughs> radiophonic workshop yeah. yeah 1975 unfortunately they don't exist anymore i know what a shame but the music's great and you are terrific Thank in it you very much. i mean i would have to say that you're up there with my doctor who was william hartnell you're so, not and, possibly old enough i know i look good <laughs> that's my doctor who and but i'm having you alongside him thank you very much i'm having you alongside i'm very him. proud to stand next to him now what else are you doing i read last night on the internet h HBO, BBC Discover, Einstein Project. Yes. I'm doing something called... Well, you know, I was looking at that press release. I thought it was called Einstein and Me, but according to that, it's called Einstein and Eddington. So Einstein I'm doing... a go-go, it'll uh, be yeah. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> eventually. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a thing for BBC and HBO, and uh, it's about Einstein and Eddington. He was an astrophysicist in Cambridge when Einstein was in Germany, and they never... Well, they do meet briefly at the end, but basically they correspond and Eddington helped to prove that Einstein was right during the First World War. When so are they saying that Eddington helped Einstein out? That's exactly what he did. Without but not, did a, but not did that a, he was responsible for did the Did a lot of the work. He did, but that's it! <laughs> ah. He did, yeah. No, that's absolutely what happened. And Einstein, without Eddington, may have remained unproven. We also read that Gollum is playing Einstein. Andy Serkis Excellent. is playing Einstein, oh, yeah. great, great. Which is fantastic, and I've worked with Andy before and he's brilliant, but we literally don't get to meet in the film. Oh, you know, no. the, our two stories happen. We write letters to each other. Each other and oh, that's it. Shame. Just in case uh, Doctor Who anoraks are listening, just in case. <laughs> anoraks a derogatory term and I would like to stand up for Doctor Who enthusiasts yeah. who are badly maligned. I'm often. not mal I'm using anoraks in a an affectionate style. -y. Okay, I'll let you off. All right, let's do a few uh, favorites of Doctor. What's Doctor Who's favorite song at the moment? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. At the moment, yeah. Uh it's got to be I'm going to be 500 miles, isn't it? Okay, of course. Yeah. What's Doctor Who's all-time favourite movie? That's really tough. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't prepared for this. I know. It would probably be maybe something like 12 Angry Men. Very good. Doctor Who's favourite colour? <laughs> I'm doing this for the magazine. TARDIS Blue. <laughs> TARDIS Blue, OK. You told us your favourite Doctor Who of all time, which was Tom Baker. Well, the first one I remember. I don't want to pick favourites. Yeah, your favourite assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be the new one, yeah, Steve. Yeah, free Matt Adjaman <laughs> and Billy Piper. Yeah, yeah. Equal first place. I feel I helped him out on that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> favourite yes. ever episode of yours so far and favourite ever episode of Doctor Who? I genuinely don't have a favourite. I genuinely don't because it's such fun making it that each one 
I have such fond memories of. And when I see the finished version of each one, I'm continually thrilled by what they do. So I don't have an absolute favourite. I remember the very first ever episode that I saw was where the two teachers came round to the house that was knocked down and there was just a police box yeah. in there. Because the girl, the doctor's daughter, or whoever it was, the assistant, was behaving badly. So the two teachers came round and then suddenly they see inside this... Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. They just can't believe it. Yeah. They're so shocked. Yeah. And it's a great scene, isn't it? And you're kind of... It's one of those nice points when the audience is ahead of the person on screen, aren't they? And they're kind of going, oh, they're going to see the TARDIS! Oh! And it never disappoints, that scene, does it? But it's kind of a fabulous thing now, isn't it? Yeah. We, we all know yeah. that when you open the door to the TARDIS, what's going to happen, but it's still somehow incredible. Oh, it's great. It's and, and, on you, the inside, and you yeah. think to yourself, my goodness, they've kept that noise after all this time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can't beat it. That's the thing. And I think when the show came back, they sort of toyed with the idea of should the TARDIS still be a police box because kids today won't know what a police box is but it doesn't matter, it just works, doesn't it? And that noise, it just works. And the theme tune, you can't get rid of things like that. I mean, it really does. I'm about to play it again in a second. It really does. It's just evocative, evocative isn't it? It shoots yeah. right through you, doesn't it? It's yeah. just, you think, yeah. oh, yeah. wow. You can see David Tennant as Doctor Who on Saturday at 7pm, BBC One, and again at 7pm on Sunday on BBC Three. Great to see you. Thank you very much, David Tennant. A real pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. David Tennant, everybody. On the big show, on Radio 7.